the Madman. Welcome to Nuzu. Only new Witchwood card, Dustbat. But I think Dustbat is really good since the meta that I'm targeting is while I'm climbing, it seems to be a lot of odd paladins out there. So a deck that controls the board seems great. Some catch up with the Hooked Reaver, Despicable Dreadlord will just completely wipe him out. Sea Giant is targeted for just being generally good for Zoo, but also a good catch up card against lots of guys. Ooh, I win! Let's hope it's Shutterwalk, then we can beat him up! Incredible. Oh, it's Shutterwalk. Rip him. I'm afraid those jaws will never bite. Those claws will never catch. As he does three mana do nothing. Everyone was so afraid of the Shutterwalk taking over the meta. I thought it might be a tier 1 deck, but what we failed to do was believe in Blizzard. Blizzard would never allow such a disgusting combo to go on. Like if it... obviously they would test something like that, right? Right? Speak your peace. Blood will blow. Now according to HS Replay, Shaman is sitting on the bottom of the ladder at a 42% win rate. Like that's so much lower than number 8 on the list at 46%. Thinking about Volcano, 4, 8, 9, 11, 14, 17. Volcano would clear the whole board if I played Serenite Chain Gang. But hey, we gotta do it. If he has it, then okay, he has an out, and then we keep beating him, and we refill the board. Well, not refill, I play Despicable Dreadlord. If he doesn't, then he loses. Go, oh, my pit fighter. He thought about hitting this at first. Was he thinking about... Ugh. Okay, that has to be stopped. How am I doing it? I could just soul fire the stone claw, and then if I miss discarding Doom Guard, then we Doom Guard this. That's probably worth it. So much damage, but this fine can't really deal with this afterwards. I just used 15 points of damage on a 2-drop in a totem. Feels bad. Wait, wait, wait a second. Wait a second, I missed 5 to the face. I forgot 6 plus 1 equals 7. Wait a sec. Whatever, it won't matter. Just giving him a little bit of a chance. You know, these poor shaman decks, they need a little bit higher of a win rate. It's my kindness at work here. Oh, oh, whatever. I can do my sea giant math correctly because I know that one plus seven equals seven. You understand, right? One plus seven equals seven. You do get it. Uh, 
Uh, Hook Dreaver. I guess I would play Hook Dreaver as. Okay, next turn I just play Hook Dreaver. Do man, it's fun. And then I can. Oh, there's a Doom Guard in here. I must feed now. I have a, I, my memory is not that great. But there's only Despicable Dreadlord in it. Goes to show you how good this deck is. Like, like for the win rate. All right, let's see. So so far, the Shaman Shadowlock deck has not been able to complete any of the steps. They have to actually play. Okay, step one complete. They probably hit their elemental. They haven't played Serenite. Oh, they have played Life Drinker. So, have that going for them. You almost got their Shadow Lock. You're like five rounds off, something like that. If you even drew it. Well, if you drew it, you were three rounds off. Uh, here's the target audience the Paladin. Baku? Again? Other? What could it be? Will there be Raid Leader in this deck? None will survive. There will be a Raid Leader. <laughs> I don't think anyone could have foreseen Raid Leader being viable in this new expansion. But it's a thing. Reporting for duty. The light protects me. Why do you call? I'm going to hard board control this game. You're gonna lock it down. Reporting for duty. It's a despicable droid lord win the game. Something like that. So I have to protect against raid leader, but raid leader doesn't currently do anything. What about the weapon? The weapon... He would just attack with it and still attack with something else, so... This can be faced. There's no punish, I believe. Hmm, yeah. I guess the... F Punish as he doesn't trade into Voidwalker and plays this. I guess that's a punish. Small punish. I was thinking that the Maul would just give everything plus one. I guess the no, the Maul wouldn't even be a punish because it would still just kill off a guy. Same way. I Oh, I can't wait to play the card of despair. It's gonna be great. <laughs> Game over! If you thought Arcane Explosion was good against Paladin, which some mages have been tucking in, what about an Arcane Explosion every single turn? They don't even draw that many cards from Divine Favor because I may run mainly one drops. Oh. And the board is mine. By a lot. The battle is over. Ooh, so I really want to play Flame Oath with Dust Bat, but I don't think I can keep it. Hmm, what a shame. Alright, so currently my entire hand is unplayable. Up until turn 5, where I can play Doomguard. Uh, I'd probably go Coin Dust Bat Tap, actually. Not in that order. Ooh. Turn four play detected. 
or turn three play, and then I can follow that up with soul fire my own face into dust bat. Probably a bad play. Really want to soul fire that card. Gotta make my four mana play. These hooked reavers are gonna do some really good catch up. But currently my hand is useless, so I should soul fire right now. No, I need to coil first. Good card to play next turn. Did I tap? Nah. Every other card is pretty bad right now. So next turn I can do a uh, tap bat. Did you know that tap bat is almost an anagram? No, palindrome is the word I'm looking for. I go tab bat, then the next turn I go tab reaver. I probably don't want to do that because Ball Spine Slayer exists, but I have to clear the way for Sea Giant anyways. I think I bait out the the plant with the Red Lord. Better against his probable holding of Valspine Slayer. Three Warlock cards. Oh. <laughs> That's pretty funny. So this despicable dreadlord is testing for Vile Spine. No Vile Spine detected. Speak your peace. If there is a Vile Spine, Despicable Dreadlord just did some work anyways. Eh, I was holding it. Of how many cards I've actually got back. Your magic shall not save you. There once was a man from Gilgamesh. You soon. Alright, 
Hunter? Do I want Tar Creeper against Hunter? Probably. I'm seriously thinking about breaking this egg right now. Now, the main problem is I have to follow it up with a 3-5, which is really bad. Could play Acherus Veteran, that's probably better. Yep. Then I have a 4-2 available against his 5-5. Five five. I give him enough respect that he coined that out so he could play a Terra Scale stock around it. That's pretty good. 3 mana, 5-5. Five five. Uh, Gain 3 health. I'm pretty sure I would have gotten wrecked really hard if I didn't do that. I would rather not get wrecked. I have the Acris Veteran kill, but Tar Creeper seems really good here. But I'll just do this. This goes with the Dusk Bat, but I have a Tap Bat next turn. A bat. There's too many things that can go wrong by not doing this. Unlucky Huffer. So now I think we won't break the egg. I think now if he plays the card, it'll be too slow. So 7 plus 6, 13. Then a bunch of damage coming up. Yep, let's go. It's a race since I'm at low, huh? Probably doesn't have enough room for a doggos. There's that stalker. Stalker, stalker. But now he's dead. 7, 8, 10, 11, 13, 14, 15, 19, 23. Are the Sea Giants core in this deck? If not, what's a good replacement? Uh, sea Giant is mainly being aimed against the Paladins right now. I think uh, Spellbreaker is a decent replacement. In combination of Spellbreaker and or Argent Squire, if you're doing El Cheapo. I'm gonna protect that, so... I guess I'll go Voidwalker. Yeah, Cobalt Scalebane, that's also a card. Not even Keliseth and Gold Dawn are required, so you can make this a serious budget deck with only rares. Come on, really want to draw Flame Imp or... Cobalt Library and then get it in with the uh, Dusk Bat. Ooh. Alright, uh, let's see. So that deck has Duskbreaker. I, wonder. I have the combo. I really should run it. So if he has Duskbreaker, he'll be left with a 1 2, which can kill my 2 4. I'll do that. Makes the anti dust breaker a little bit better. Hey, it's Camellius! Who knows if he's even running dust breaker in his deck then? I wonder how long he's been spying on my stuff. Let's see, I think that came from the left side. 
He's like, Cooked Reaver, why is that in your deck? Maybe he knows about the Despicable Dreadlord? Can he? Yeah, he could know about it. No, he, it's impossible because that's like my newest card, and then his card did not transform into my newest card. So I think he can't possibly know about this card. Something like that. Maybe he knows about the coil, which is why I was hesitant to make that trade. Like spy and counter spy. Oh, the nerf with the Kaliseth. Oh, no dragon. Is someone injured? Okay, this is a soul fire for sure. Yeah, there's no way he wins this game. Guess I'll just even play it. Nah, Voidwalker kind of sucks, but I might as well get the board up. How do I get punished? The only AoE from Spiteful Priest is that dragon, right? I think that's the only one, so I might as well also play this thing. If I'm not missing something here. Have you played this card and told me it doesn't have Duskbreaker or a dragon? It's forever before you can actually do, do any AoE. Pinch of death cup. Heal of Be reborn in the curse! 8 8 rule. The new never lucky. I think we leave the 8 8 up and kill the 5 5. Yeah, just replace the dust bat. Your soul is mine. Free me! Free me! Of death cup, heal of shoe. Oh, there's the high roll. But is it too late? Four, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven. Yep, too late. Wow, that seemed like a really strong start. Turn two, Kaliseth. Turn six, Summoner. Turn seven, Summoner. But Zoo is always there. For you! Uh, oh, is this the end of the line? I'm a little bit afraid of. Uh, Q block. If it's the zoo mirror though, I'm going first and I can just soul fire his one drop and then play a veteran. And that'd be pretty strong. I don't think zoo is very popular at the moment though. Because no one has figured out the brilliance of Dusk Bat. Oh, is it possibly right to soul fire the 2 1 to protect my 3 2? Oh my god, that would be such tempo. This flame imp represents 12 damage if he doesn't have the file. Let's just do it. Oh, that's good. Ooh. The gods of tempo have uh, come down to reward me for my play. I have to think about for a moment what type of warlock runs Stonehold Defender. I don't know off the top of my head. Uh, Soul Fire is just dead. Fine. Oh, but that, that card is too good. I'm just going to play it. Okay, we might end up bursting him in the end with the Soul Fire 50-50 Doom Guards. That's 9 burst damage. Alright, we're, we're taking the chance. 
If I miss, I just card Doom Guard, I get Firefly, and it's not the end of the world. That's pretty sweet. And that's a demonstration of how by playing the most tempo thing you can do each turn, you can create opportunity. I keep soul fire in case it's Sue. No, I'm all getting sure. I wonder if I should have gone Cobalt Librarian instead, since Cobalt Librarian trades better into Cobalt Librarian. Maybe. I'm gonna defile. That's nice. Double coil. Does Q block even run coil these days? Yeah, some of them do. Firefly or Tar Creeper against a Q block. The Tar Creeper doesn't have for any aggression, so I need to dig into my stuff. I could see Q blocks teching him back coil for sure. The ag uh, the meta is too aggro for traditional versions of that deck. Okay, we're gonna have to buckle in for a game against Q block where I don't have spellbreaker. I can quite possibly fight a valley game against him. I've got the Blood River Gold Dime, I have two Despicable Dreadlords in my death pool. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> four mana, seven, seven, go. Out of my jungle. Uh, how can I kill that one four off? Can't with my hand. I want the I want to send the seven seven to the five seven really badly. Two five eight. Hmm. Traitor face. Hmm. Uh, I could just play two taunts. If he has cube, I'm still fine. I think. I can't think of a punish for this. So I'm going to hope there is one. Okay, good, good. Interesting, he didn't trade in the 5-2. Wait, oh yeah, discovered. Let's play Dreadlord, uh, Blood Reaver Gul'dan. Like to be in pretty good shape. The only downside, let's see, Godfrey currently doesn't tick up to 7, but if I play Dreadlord it bridges the gap. I, I want to try to avoid playing a 5 health minion. We would need to play his own one health minion to go with it. I think I just... Uh, yeah, but if this dies, it gets comes back with Gul'dan. I'll play it. So, I think the Nightmare is something like Librarian into Godfrey, which is actually a board clear. But okay. Uh, 
Uh, how many demons have died on my side? Flame Imp, Luck Reaver number one, Voidwalker, Despicable Dreadlord number two. Okay. That's enough that I should trade that in. If he was willing to trade in that Doomguard, or not trade Doomguard in this siege, it implies he had some burst damage. So one of the cards in his hand is Doomguard. That's about all I know about his hand, I think. Maybe one of the cards in his hand is Slowfire. Hard to make that read. If he doesn't play Godfrey here, though, then one of the cards in his hand is probably not Godfrey. But boy, would Godfrey be good here. Darkness yeah, this is Void Do so I have Lethal? 3, 6, 10, 18, 21, 22, 26 against uh, 18, 32. Yeah, it's pretty easy. Pathetic. Lethal by a lot. Yeah, not by that much. Oh, and this is actually 6, 9, 5. See, do I tap or do I play Librarian? If I play Librarian, I have the 1 in 23 chance of being able to play Keliseth. If I tap, I have the 2 in 23 chance of being able to dust bat next turn. I should probably tap. Librarian's like kind of handy. It's it serves as a two minute discount to dust bat, since usually you'd have to play it with your tap. I might have uh, maybe I should have played librarian for variety of damage that turn though. Oh, it's miracle rig. It's the classic miracle rogue versus zoo showdown. It's been a while. Did a good job of trading into the 1-3. I took down both 1-3s instead of just 1-2-3. It's gotta be Soul of Fire. Do I want to play just Dreadlord, or do I want to play multiple things? But I don't have multiple things to play, so this is Dreadlord. Unleash me. Ah, oh, Librarian. Gonna be hooked reaver this turn. Unless I think that this hand is so bad that I should just play Demon Guard. This hand is really bad. It's awful in this matchup. I'm playing a 3 2 instead of tapping. Oh my god. That's probably fun. All four of those cards are bad. I got the best deals anywhere. Definitely felt the need to pressure him before I got deals. Man is here. Hmm. 
So I can actually go Dust Bat Sea Giant. That's a pretty good play, but then I can't kill Auctioneer. That's probably bad. I should probably play Doom Guard. Disappointing. Oh, my Sea Giants are about to get good. Alright, so. Uh, both Fan and I have been played, so the only way for him to do damage is with 4 damage eviscerate, I think? And they're already stabbed also, backstabbed. So I should split the 3 damage. no, I should have a 5 health minion and a 2 health minion. No, no, there's SI7. This is better. It's been a little while since I played against Miracle. Uh, the breakpoints are 2 and 4 now. Since Shiv and Phantom Knives are gone. And since I haven't seen any SIs, I should make sure to avoid the two break point. Do I have any burst damage left in my deck? I have one Soul Fire, and Blood Reaver Goldon will get me two Doom Guards. Uh, there's no way you can kill me from this position, right? Hmm, no matter how gross Miracle could possibly be. One damage is like a tough breakpoint for him to do. Let's just do that. If he had not played all of his Fan of Knives, then I probably would have pushed the damage instead. Because the two ones and the one ones can't be counted on to do damage to his face, but with both fans gone, one health minions are actually really strong. Alright, Voidwalker should be a good card against them. Acker's Veteran will hopefully survive. Tar Creeper might be necessary for the defensive nature of this possible game. I don't know, maybe his Baku would make sense. Zoo should be pretty good against Baku. I can stop the bleeding early and I can try not to bleed myself too much. No Baku, so what? What is it? I don't know. Can there be pig farmers at rank 5 also? I wonder if I should have buffed the uh, Voidwalker because of exactly that. Ooh, that's a good one. I don't understand why everyone kept telling me that this dust bat, fast that this dust bat isn't good. Like I think this is the best card in this deck. I would have rated dust bat like a four or five. If people hadn't kept telling me, no, this dust bat it sucks. Oh. Wow, he didn't trade with the uh, flame imp. Holy cow. All he would have to do is spend 2-2 worth of doggos for the flame imp, but he went face. What a madman. I guess we punish him by playing the tar creeper. Now, do I trade with him or do I take him up on his challenge? Alright, I. I respect. I respect. I mean, this, uh. Let's, yeah. Do that one. I feel like I should take down a dog for free. And then. Poke, poke. I want to protect my 4 1 from this dog. Uh, I'll do that one. I'll do these. I was tempted to go 2 1 into the 1 1 also. Very tempted. Yeah, there were some punishes if I didn't trade. I didn't want to leave even one doggo on the board. It was now hemmed. Uh, kill command can make the 1 1 trade into the 4 1, but. Eh, not that bad considering you could just kill the 2 1. Plated Beetle? 
like pulling me in different directions here. Is he super aggro? Does he actually have some defensive elements to him? Why would he not trade two one ones into my four two? Was it to put the fear into me so I would trade? Wow. <laughs> Ooh, what a witch with Grizzly! Oh well, no Doom Guard this turn. Is this guy just bluffing me the whole time? He's like, oh, watch out, I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you. Oh, which one, Grizzly? <laughs> Plated Beetle. Oh my god, now Deathstalker Rex Shark can come in. It's pretty spooky. Turn this in too, I guess. That's like the best Witchwood Grizzly I've ever seen. Unfortunately, it was played against me. I'm putting him into the mid range hunter category. Oh, he did have Rex there. They did those trades. I think I traded in everything that could have died. Wonder if I should have played around <laughs> crushing walls. My pack will hunt you down. I've got fifteen. All I need is Acarus or Soulfire or Doomguard. And I'm in a very favorable position regardless. Sure. Yeah, it feels safe. So uh, it's a pretty miracle, uh, miraculous build of beast here. Finally, it's the age, it's the day where all my predictions come in. true. Oak Reaver, five star card after all. Dustbat was really, really good. I was just convinced it wasn't that good. Turned our curse into our strength. Ooh. All right, so it's gonna be handlock. And this is the one of the decks I wanted to try out, but due to the prevalence of odd paladin, I decided this might be a better deck to beat him up with. Let's see. Since tap is only one, this is actually a turn where he could use coil. Oh no, he can't use coil. That eh, coil doesn't exist. That's cool. I probably should have coined Firefly. I just thought it wouldn't be worth it to put out a 1-2 though. Yeah, that's probably right not to coin Firefly now that I think about it. Alright, so since... Yeah, Coil doesn't exist so you can do really... And just leave everything at 1 health until the foul comes along. Let's see, he can't play Mountain Giant now. No, he still can. That's pretty spooky. So, if I coined out Serenite Chain Gang, I'd have enough power to Soul Fire the Mountain Giant. I guess. Oh, yeah, you can even tap Mountain Giant. Yeah, that's a thing. I don't think I actually need to do the proactive Soul Fire trade. I can just. Your face here. It punishes me. Hellfire. You would want a Hellfire, right? I think so. Especially if I played more stuff. But Hellfire means I just deal three damages Mountain Giant instead of four. 
Pretty big hand. Really high chance of having Hellfire in there. Or another Defile. Some sort of board clear. Maybe Shadow Flip? Who knows. But I have 10 burst damage in my hand. Requires getting slightly lucky, or just not getting ludicrously unlucky. I think I'm gonna win in position here. He's gonna do something and turn the tables. Okay. Good old taunt warrior, or taunt, hemlock taunt thingy. Hmm. It's not as bad as I thought it would be. My win streak. No. Well played. Dang. Oh, well done, him. Even with a, uh, it seemed to not be the best answer. That deck seems pretty good against me. Good old handlock versus you. Feels nostalgic of classic.